All right, we're here today with Bethany Salaretter, and uh, she's doing a, a, a talk here uh, today, and uh, I just uh, about Harry Rimmer, and maybe she can just uh, give us uh, uh, her viewpoint. Sure. Um, I'm using Harry Rimmer as a case study, looking at how science and evangelical apologetics have related to each other. Um, Harry Rimmer is a really interesting figure because he has a view of science that would have been more popular in the 20s and 30s. Um, and if you took his ideas of science and, and told somebody about them today, they would, they would just be shocked. So one of the things he says is, you know, science is a body of, uh, a correlated body of absolute knowledge. And most scientists just today when I tell them that, you know, the eyes get wide and, and they're not, um, they would just say, oh no, you know, or if you read Richard Lewontin's book, Biology is Ideology, he's going to be talking about how science is really a human endeavor, it's something that people do. Um, and so there are mistakes, there are subjectivities to it, and, and that doesn't undermine the value of science, but it brings it into a different light. And um, what Harry Rimmer tries to do is he tries to say that the Bible has science in it, and since science is absolute knowledge, we can know that the Bible is absolutely true. And so he, he plays back and forth between the Bible and science, trying to prove that the Bible is true by way of science. And in the 20s and 30s, this was quite an effective argument because of some of the changes that had happened throughout the 19th century where really science in the popular mind, you know, the everyday kind of people, um, started giving more and more authority to science. And the scientists were very happy to, to take that authority. Um, and so Harry Rimmer is riding on the tail end of that. Any applications for today or? Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of them would be that people like Harry Rimmer or George McCready Price and who, who use this view of the Bible and, and, and this view of science as absolute knowledge and, and the Bible as scientific, um, really helped shape how we do a lot of our apologetics. And so we have this idea that faith should be based on reason and logic and, you know, um, that the journey of faith is, you know, a logical one that you would make if you understood everything. Um, that the Bible teaches, or, or if you believe that the Bible was really true, um, if we could prove that science proves the Bible, then people will automatically believe the Bible. And that's not necessarily true in a, in a postmodern generation. People don't have the same trust in science. They're going to trust the Bible, but in different ways. And so we need to change our apologetics to engage with the postmodern crowd and do that in a different way. Okay, any other comments you'd like to make? Not that I can think of. Okay, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that.